team, it is time. It's Alex Gem time. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so yet. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the importance of rewarding yourself. If you're eating well, if you are on track, if you're exercising consistently, if you're sleeping well, if you're avoiding toxic things like excessive alcohol, excessive illicit drugs, excessive oxidative stress, if you're looking after yourself, if you're smashing, if you're making time for loved ones, you need to reward yourself. It is natural. Now, how, why should you reward yourself? Let me teach you something really, really important here. It's a key method for staying on track. Yes, you need to always, you love the process. I've done copious videos on loving the process of improving your life in different uh, capacities, different areas, but also the importance of rewarding yourself, taking the time to reflect and go, you know what? I smashed it this week. I stay on track. I ate brilliantly. I lost weight. I'm on track. I'm giving, I'm serving more. I'm doing better in my job. Build that momentum and continue that momentum by rewarding yourself because you know, we've all got problems, we've all got stresses in our lives, that's natural to an extent. But what we have to understand is, and I took this from uh, Professor Steve Peters, who wrote The Chimp Paradox, and um, it's a brilliant book. I really advocate you getting that book as, as well as my book here, The Six Pack Mind. It's absolutely incredible. Get it on Amazon right now. Uh, but The Chimp Paradox by Professor Steve Peters is wonderful because he breaks down how the brain works. Okay, and he tells us um, how your reptilian brain, the, your chimp brain, your primitive brain, whatever you want to call it, is is being built to kind of keep you stagnated. Well, actually, that's that's my input. But what he teaches is that um, the brain is there to keep you safe, um, and you need to combat this. So your brain is going to always try and put you off. It's very negative by its very nature. It's just trying to keep you safe, but sometimes. Uh, your brain is not set up to keep you happy. It's meant to keep you safe. It's for survival means. That's what your reptilian brain is here for. So, but anyways, we need to kind of beat our own brain, so to speak. Not like that, but outthink it. Outwit your own brain. Um, so uh, how can you do that? And you can do that by giving yourself uh, what Steve Profeders, uh, Steve... <laughs> Professor Steve Peters calls a, a banana. Give yourself, give your chimp brain a banana. And what he means by that is rewarding yourself. That's essentially what I gleaned from that. And the importance of giving yourself some kind of reward in order to keep you on track, to look after your reptilian brain, because you can't get rid of that negative voice, that negative voice that says, don't go to the gym today. You're tired, aren't you? You didn't sleep as well as you could have. You're stressful. You have got a lot on your plate. Don't go exercise. That's that negative voice trying to put you off doing things that you need to do. That's important. Or that brain that says, oh, you don't want that salad. It takes a long time to make and eat a salad, doesn't it? Why don't you just go for what's really convenient? That really massive burger over there. Doesn't it look good? That's your negative voice. Stay away from it, guys. You can defeat it. And by rewarding yourself at the right times in different areas, in different ways, you can keep yourself on track. Because if you don't reward yourself, that's how people give up with their diet plans after a couple of weeks and they go, I can't do it anymore, man. I was doing well, but I just can't do this. And this is not about punishment. This is not about punitive behavior. This is about looking after yourself and rewarding yourself. So in different areas, even unrelated to health and fitness, even if... Uh, yes, if you've been exercising consistently three, four, five, six times a week. Yes, if you've been sleeping well. Yes, if you've been doing the right things and you've been uh, eating well. Reward yourself with a cheat meal, for instance, or even if you don't want to call it a cheat meal, call it a splurge or whatever it is, or just an expression meal. I know that sounds quite sad, doesn't it? But whatever you want to call it, um, that can be a form of rewarding oneself. Now, you can reward yourself for doing other things. If you're doing really well in your business, for instance, or at your job and you're smashing it, you can reward yourself through something else that I advocate. Um, so this is what I think you should do. Every month, and this is brilliant for, this is going to make you smarter, it's gonna keep you on track with your health, it's gonna make you enjoy life more, it's gonna increase your energy levels, it's gonna give yourself the banana that Dr. Steve Peters teaches, and what I teach about the importance of rewarding yourself. Uh, and reward yourself by getting my book at Amazon. Make sure you do that as well, if you're finding this of value. And what he teaches is, uh, you can reward yourself by doing something different at least once a month. So for instance, say if, I tie this into finances, I love studying finances, you're gonna have a copious material coming your way as it relates to that as well. Um, but as it relates to your finances, what they say is, make sure you save, make sure you pay yourself first, make sure you, um, Invest in within your competence, your circle of competence as well. I'll go into these in a lot of detail at another time. 
and he says the importance of teach your brain that you are wealthy and you can teach your brain that you are wealthy and simultaneously give yourself that kind of novelty that knows new experiences and you can actually make yourself smarter by kind of showing off i know smarter by showing off what do you mean alex i suggest that once a month if well if you can afford it a couple of times a month do something a little bit more outrageous do something brand new or at least uh look after yourself in a different way, whether that be a new experience of driving in an extremely expensive car for the first time, or going on a trip to somewhere brand new, five-star all-inclusive for a day or a weekend, or buying a course that's going to change your life, such as my course, join SPM today at www.alexgem.com. That can be a way of transforming your happiness, making you uh, more excited, learn more. So what I'm saying essentially is, do something really outrageous and fun and new every time. Novelty stimulates new neurons. What I'm saying is novelty will make you, it stimulates neuroplasticity, which is essentially neurogenesis, which means you're able to rewire your brain, come up with newer beliefs, more supportive beliefs. You're able to get rid of unsupported limiting beliefs, trauma. You'll be able to get over trauma, living over the past, living in the past, no more live in the future, you're going to be more optimistic, you're going to teach your unconscious that life is getting better, um, and you're going to reward yourself to make sure that you continuously eat healthily, to make sure you continuously exercise, continuously sleep well, keep pushing yourself hard and serving, whether that be in your job, charities, whatever it is. Do all these wonderful things, and that you can promote that and stimulate that excitement by looking after yourself at least once a month, doing something brand new, learning new material, gaining new experiences, gaining new skills, learning how to do all kinds of things, learning how to play darts, if that's what you want to do, learning how to draw, learning how to be a DJ, whatever it is. Um, it's all important because it stimulates new neurons, it, st it rewires your brain, you become smarter. The smarter you become, the more you change your unconscious habits, the more you, uh, you change your perceptions as it relates to your exercise, you'll be able to push yourself more in your workouts, for instance, you'll be able to eat more healthily, you'll be able to have the kind of supplements that you know are going to give you the energy, the focus, the wherewithal to do better things for yourself, your future, your life. Um, so it's all very much linked is one of the main things that I want to teach you. So the main thing I want you to glean from this video is the importance of rewarding yourself, do something new every month, uh, regardless of your, what you, if you know, I don't care if, you, if you're someone who has to be very careful with your finances. You, we can all put some money aside once a month to do something brand new, something exciting, something that stimulates brain growth. But it, like, it will stimulate immunity. It will give yourself that energy boost for that month. It gives you something to look forward to. You know, you're more likely to stay on track with your eating and your training program if you have something to look forward to. So if you're going to like a party with your friends and you're treating yourself once a month at least to something special, something new, something exciting, that will make sure that you stay on track with your eating program, eating healthily. It will make you stay on track with your training program it, and so on and so forth. It will, it will prevent you from splurging unnecessarily with highly processed, unhealthy, refined foods. It will make sure that you don't partake in illicit drugs for that short-term change. It will make sure you don't uh, excessively drink alcohol. It will make sure you don't do all these toxic things that ruin, compromise your health, your immunity, uh, your brain function. Instead, reward yourself consistently and reward yourself now by going to my website at www.alexgem.com. Click join SPM today. It's my wonderful course. Enter your credit card details. The course and the bonuses combined is worth $2,000. I'm not selling it for $1,000. I'm not selling it for $500. You're going to be absolutely shocked by my offer. You're going to love it. Capitalize on it right now, just like capitalizing on getting this book at Amazon right now. It costs a couple cups of coffee. Come on, guys, you are worth it. Take control of your health, take control of your body shape, and take control of your life. And make sure you like this video if you found it of use. And I look forward to working with you soon.